The Cardinals were the seventh seed in the Power Pack Section 5 AA, but still got to host a first round match against their lesser opponent. They proved they were definitely worthy as they made relatively easy work of Casino Grace. Bobby Yang playing at first singles and a bit of trouble with the Eagles' top player, losing a tough one 2 6 0 6, but the rest of the lineup picked him up. Eighth grader, Arcel Huskich. I hope that we pronounced that correctly. We've wasn't, got four years to yeah, get it right. Wasn't allowed to play varsity until the, in the, until the tournament, but definitely adds to the team's talent level. He wins easily 6-0, 6-1. Kendall Setz was complete control of the match at third singles. He doesn't give up a single game, working quickly for a 6-0, 6-0 win. Nice job there. Coming up, Hak Vu. He had to work a little harder in the next quarter, fourth singles, but he gets the same result, winning in straight sets, 6-1, and a tougher second one, 7-5. So the Cardinals really only needed one win from doubles. Well, they're going to get it right from the top. Dan Jake and Steve Muggenberg won their match by a score of 6-2, 6-2. Relatively easy one for them. And Aaron Bauer, another eighth grader, finally allowed in the lineup for the tournament. He teamed up with Nate Porter at second Watch doubles. Watch his play at the net here. Solid. Yeah, they win a tight one, 6-4, 6-7. Well, he's not 10, done. 7 nice, uh, nice overhand there for the point. Eagles are able to get one more third doubles and Stephen Yang and Larson Kronstead lose 2-6-3-6. The Cardinals advance in the tournament with a 5-2 win. Nice way for them to start that tournament.